he is finally here the big man big daddy and he is absolutely amazing i just got done you know messing with him a little bit and uh he definitely is very very strong so i first want to look at his weapon pretty insane has a crazy amount of crit damage hp is increased by 16 percent which is good because he scales off of hp mostly and when his HP increases or decreases, his charge attack damage will be increased by 14%. Which is amazing because like uh, he uh, consumes some HP for more damage and stuff. That goes up to max 3 stacks by the way. So that's, that is about 42% more charge attack damage right there. You could say it's quite good. And then when the character has 3 stacks or 3rd stack duration refreshes... A energy will be restored. We'll probably be pretty decent for a couple other catalyst users like Wanderer is who I can think of at the top of my head would be pretty good. Artifacts, you know, these are going to be, honestly, the artifacts you're going to want to run on him. Mercase Hunter, you know, increases his normal charge attack damage by 15%. And then the four piece set when current HP increases or decreases crit rate will be increased by 12% for five seconds. Max three stacks. Very good because then you wouldn't really have to build crit rate into him. You can just like you can mostly get crit damage for him and you'll be good to go. It'll work perfectly. So uh, for once, Hoyoverse actually put a really good artifact set. You know, some characters before have been a little questionable with what they put on. But uh, to me, this is a pretty idealistic choice here. Constellations, I'm not going to go over them. Um, because if you're going to get these, obviously they're good. And talents, here's the main juice. All right. Normal attack, obviously he, he does like three, three attacks. Looks very cool. Has his cane and stuff. But his charge attack, the main cool thing, the Cosmetajmaha, Kamehameha. You know, <laughs> that thing. You know, it charges up shoots it aoe it does quite a lot of damage it takes a long time to charge up normally without picking up any droplets or anything like that and i'll just do that very very cool um if you do it before the ring is uh formed if you like stop it'll do a little pew pew like that and consume some stamina as you can see there uh it's just a little like a splash in the face you know from you know your local swimming pool that you're i don't even know what i'm rambling about when you charge it all the way it won't consume stamina at all and if his hp is above 50 percent he'll continuously lose hp which will grant him some bonus things with everything else you know his his artifacts set and the weapon i almost wanted to say lycone for a second his skill is ties in really good with it too it'll do some crazy cool damage you know it'll go boom and as you can see there it does the uh what was it called Niomu, Nimu, Niyama, Niyama thing, ni ni uh, Niyum, Niyama aligned. I don't, I'm gonna be honest, I'm an idiot. And of course, using that skill on enemies will generate three source water droplets, which will restore some HP and help charge his, you know, charge attack faster. Ties in very well. His ult basically does the same thing do some damage and it'll generate a whole six droplets and it's crazy really good his passive talents are also really good it states when a party member triggers a vaporized frozen electro charge bloom hydro swirl hydro crystallized reaction surprisingly basically anything one stack of past draconic glories will be granted to nivellet for 30 seconds max three stacks this will grant him bonus charge attack damage. Uh, one stack is 110% of its original damage. Two stacks, 125%. Three stacks, 160. Very amazing. So that's nice. And his second passive, for each 1% of his current HP greater than 30% of his max HP, he will gain 0.6% hydro damage bonus. A maximum bonus of 30% can be obtained this way. It's almost like uh, how Raiden Shogun's like energy thing gives her more uh, electro damage. But you know what? That kind of helps get an outside source of hydro damage bonus. I'm pretty sure if you can make it, you know, if you can do it right, you might not have to run a hydro cup. Maybe you could go with like an HP cup. But that's for, you know, future builds, future experimenting, you know. Uh, but yeah, 
very good kit. Of course, it all is all about his charge attack thing here. And uh, it, it, it does some good damage. We'll go here and do some things. We'll do his E, which summons some droplets right there. And the good thing about it is you don't have to go directly to them to pick them up. Right? You just kind of have to be near them and they automatically pick up. Like that. And then it gives you HP if you're missing any. And then just absolutely obliterates them. And it just does insane damage, and it looks insane. It's absolutely amazing. Use your ult to get more droplets. Do this. Just absolutely destroy. And I'm not even using any other character right now. Using other characters with this would help. Very much so. Yeah. And uh, he, he moves around pretty fast, too. So I don't think getting staggered should be, you know, be that much of an issue. Unless there are, like ranged enemies but uh other than that i don't think you'll need to run a shielder so you know what they did here with yao yao is actually perfect um that'll work fine splendidly um just throw it out you know get ow get official out here do that do that and then just do like it's so crazy it does so much damage it does an, a ludicrous amount of damage but this is also with his light cone and shit so maybe it's not that crazy also those three little glowy things i was just around him those are his stacks by the way actually was those his visual stacks or could that be the weapon in visual stacks i don't even know i'm gonna assume it's his coming from him yeah he's very strong and very cool in surprisingly very fun you know some people might not like the idea of just doing this all the time uh but i think it's awesome okay personally i think it's very cool just absolutely piss beaming the enemies bro <laughs> like these hilly trolls bro don't even know <laughs> it's so cool that's such a great character. Definitely gonna try and pull him, but, you know, I'm struggling with Primo Gem economy out here. By the way, oh, dude, his hair and shit's glowing too. That is very awesome. Oh my god. Yeah, very cool character. Probably one of the best characters that have come out recently, honestly. Cool factor, design factor, strong factor, daddy factor. <laughs> He's just absolutely great. Good luck on your guys' pulls for him. He is absolutely stunning. Yeah, that's about it. That's all I gotta say. He's just, he's insane. I'm impressed with how his kit functions. It works. I hope I get him, you know? If not, I'll be sad. Ooh, what is this? Oh, that is sick. Okay, the fact that his idle animation actually made him wet makes me wet, you know? <laughs> 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 okay, I'm going I'm gonna end the end the video now. Uh goodbye. Good luck on your polls. See you guys later. <laughs>